we've had um, we've had some big changes in how reading is taught in England, um, and we now have synthetic phonics, which has been taught in every single school. Um, we've also managed to, and one of the big uh, um, interventions in around the world has been reading recovery, which is not very good for dyslexic children, as we know. Um, that's sort of been more or less eradicated in the UK. There are not that many reading recovery teachers now, so we, we are getting good intervention in as well. Um, but I think it's really important to see dyslexia as more than reading. Um, my Ted, who I showed you earlier on, is very, very severely dyslexic. He's an avid reader, but he is so disorganized that he really has to get, you know, he's super creative and he's managed to find strategies that help him. He's also terrible at maths. Um, and it's important for us to see it as this bigger picture. Otherwise, all the focus is just going on reading and then the rest of it is going to slip through the net and it's the rest of it that actually can cause bigger problems for kids. I mean, I learned to read relatively easily and my spelling isn't terrible either because I can remember visual words. I will remember words visually, but I have um, issues with concentration, memory, um, getting my thoughts on paper, which meant you know I was never going to be a straight A grade student or pass exams if I didn't get that extra time and it made a complete difference. 